Hey guys, welcome into the video here. So today we're gonna to be explaining why you should be giving your courses away for free rather than charging. And it's really, really simple. The short answer here is you're gonna make more money when you give the course away for free because we're listing everything on YouTube and we're gonna be getting paid ad revenue. You know, it's a common thing I'm seeing nowadays. Uh, it's not even just in the past year or two. So been over the past couple of years, 10 years, whatever, since the internet's been around, uh, people have been selling courses, right? And it's, it's, it's good stuff. There's nothing morally wrong with the course. It's just, it's not the best way to do it. So we're gonna label this out here. This side, we're gonna label this as YouTube. And we're gonna label this side as paid, okay? And we're going to go through, do a little pro and con sheet, and then we're going to dig into the math after that on why this actually makes more money. Now, YouTube is owned by Google, which is very, very convenient because YouTube and Google are the top two highest traffic websites in the entire world, which plays big time into our favor um, for a couple reasons. One, because we're going to be building a bunch of natural SEO, search engine optimization for our course that's going to be free traffic that's coming that we're getting paid on ad revenue from that we're not even doing anything to get them there. They're just already there searching that. Okay, so Google owns YouTube. Now, this is important because when people are searching a certain term, so if you're selling a Shopify course, and uh, you have a, all of your videos integrated over to YouTube, then Google is gonna show you over top of other websites, other, other people who are hosting videos on other websites because they own YouTube, right? So they obviously want the traffic to stay on a platform that they own. So that's a big advantage to YouTube right there that kind of combats a bunch of other places. So your natural SEO just organically without doing much is already gonna be there even more so than if you were to have a paid. Okay, so to get paid with YouTube, um, there's obviously a couple different ways, but the, the generic, um, wide, widely used ways are people viewing your video for 30 seconds and uh, people actually clicking on like the banner ads or any of the ads that pop up on, on the actual video or clicking the link below. With this here, we're, we're using a Shopify course. And forgive my writing, I'm not very good with it. Okay, so Shopify course. Once we have that decided, um, we got to answer the obvious questions here. You know, how are we going to get our course in front of people to actually uh, buy it so that we can generate some revenue from this? And uh, the most practical way to do this is with uh, Facebook ads, right? Facebook ads are, are pretty good. I actually run, I use Shopify as an example because I run multiple very successful Shopify stores um, that, that are generating over $100,000 a month. I have other videos over on my YouTube channel there. And uh, you can go through the playlist and I, I leave nothing back. I, I teach every step across the board on how I'm doing this. I don't leave anything out because I want good value there. Good value keeps you guys watching. When you keep watching, um, I generate more money. I mean, call it selfish, but that's literally why everybody does YouTube, <laughs> right? So uh, when we're selling our course uh, through um, the paid version or direct, we're going to be using Facebook ads. Uh, same thing over here with, with YouTube, um, that we're going to use the same strategy um, to get traffic over to our playlist. So we get subscribers and views. Okay, so over here with paid, uh, when you have an actual sales process, then you have to overcome procrastination. People are going to say no, and you have to make them say yes, right? You don't really have to do that as much over here with YouTube. You don't have to sell them because it's, it's, it's free. So we're going to put that up there, free. So we're gonna get them twisted. Now, when you have to sell people on stuff, um, right there, you've already lost a big number of people because most people aren't willing to dig into their pockets. So you're already eliminating 50% uh, right off the bat here. 50% are automatically gone because they're not willing to even invest the money to potentially make their future better. When you're doing paid ads, specifically for direct selling, when you're charging a price for it, your, uh, you gotta test three things usually. You gotta test your campaign objective. Okay, your campaign objective. You gotta test your actual ad sets on who you're gonna deliver to. That's right. Then you gotta create your actual ad copy, which is the, the ad itself, the, the visual thing that you're gonna see on your Facebook timeline. Okay, so when, when you're doing the paid, you got to make sure and you got to split test that, you know, make sure all this stuff is good to go 
so that you can define the perfect ad and the perfect audience. Uh, a little different over here. You don't have to get as in depth as, as this because it's, it, again, it's free. You put it in front of just people interested in Shopify or drop shipping or whatever the content of your course is and you run audiences as abroad and it's, uh, it's going to just generate you a lot of results, guys. It's pretty cool. It doesn't cost any money to go to YouTube and watch a video. But when they do, you still get paid. So when you're when you're testing your different options here with uh, your Facebook ads, you're going to run into um, inevitable issues where you got to spend and you got to lose. Okay? You got to spend and then slash lose. And typically, for this instance, we're just going to use, for example, $300. You're going to spend $300 defining your audience, figuring out who's actually engaging, optimizing, re-breaking down the ads, and then relaunching stuff to potentially find your audience. That's just what you have to do. That's part of the Facebook game when you're actually selling stuff. you got to lose money so you can gather data and target the correct people. Now, the problem with this is that most people aren't made of money, right? A lot of people say they understand they got to lose money to make money but a lot of people don't practice it. So you're gonna lose $300. That's inevitable when you sell um, this way. But you're, you're, you're gonna be thinking that it's, it's nothing to do with your actual ad. It's nothing to do with your sales funnel. It's gotta be the people. It's gotta be the targeting when in most cases, guys, if you have a good product, the, the product's gonna sell in any audience. What really is the determining factors on most cases when people don't buy is top of the funnel. So, you know, like what's your actual ad copy looking like? Uh, what's what's your landing pages, right? When they get over there, uh, what's what's everything looking like? How's the sales process? What's what's the whole process to the straight line? And uh, next year we're gonna lay out what is included in a landing page. I'm sorry, in the whole uh, funnel process of the paid and the YouTube options here. And uh, let's keep it the short answer here. There's ten steps. Okay, paid side, funnel. Okay, 10 step funnel there. YouTube is going to be a two step. And we'll just do YouTube first because very simple, two, two step. You're literally running a Facebook ad targeting people. And as soon as that's your first step. So one ad, right? And two is going to be your landing page, which is your uh, playlist. on YouTube, we'll put that. Okay, playlist on YouTube. Now back over here with the paid side, you're gonna have a 10 step funnel. So let's label this out. And your first step, again, is gonna be the ad because that's where everything's gonna start. After that, we're gonna be taken usually to a webinar. Sometimes people will have a landing page and they'll skip the webinar. So you could, you could really say a nine or a 10 step funnel. So you got the ad, you got the webinar. After the webinar is usually when you're gonna actually view the landing page, which is the, the sales landing page. There's a couple different pages here we're gonna be going through. So we wanna make sure we, we uh... okay. After the sales landing page, you're gonna to continue to get sold where you're gonna see a testimony page, right? Then after the testimonial page, you're gonna have a value page. And the value page is, again, similar to the sales page, but it's going to be just more in-depth selling. Um, pretty much telling you why that course is the best thing since sliced bread. So value page, then after the value page, you're going to be running into your first upsell. Now, like any good store, good practice is going to do, you're going to have upsells. So we're going to label this as number one because there's going to be multiple here. Um, step number seven, we're going to label this the cart page. This is when you actually... Um, are, are committing to a sale. It's not finalized, but you're you know adding it to your cart and you're telling the website that that you're you're going to buy that item or you're going to buy that course. So after your cart page, after you commit to that and you you uh, you got all that straightened out, there you're going to move on to your next page, which they're going to try and upsell you again. Okay. In most cases here, um, a lot of good pages will have like a split where if you uh, they're going to show you the more expensive upsell. And if you don't, if you're not interested in that, then you're going to get rerouted down here to a cheaper upsell. They just want to capitalize on making as much money off you as they possibly can. All right. So not all funnels are going to have this, but I see that's a pretty common thing. Um, but after that, you're going to be taken down to the actual checkout page. So this is where you're going to check out. You're going to enter your payment details and you're going to buy the product. 
So step after that, simple. This is the thank you page. This is just the page where um, the sale is finalized. So thank you page. And like I was saying before, you could you could maybe have 11. Like uh, it's just, it's a good practice. Up, as many upsells as you can, right? Most things. So they're going to have an additional upsell on the thank you page. Like, hey, now that you bought this, take advantage of 20 or 30% off of my second course, right? So that's going to be the sales process over there for... Um, the paid versus the YouTube, that's the funnel process, right? So big difference here. You got 10 or 11 steps. And on, on YouTube side, your funnel is only a two-step funnel, which two-step funnels, if you can ever make them work in a business, they're the most profitable ones. And the reason that is, is because the average human's attention span, it, it's 12 minutes. So that means you have to get the person interested. You have to hook them. Your offer has to be compelling, right? And you got to basically have them sold on the idea of what you're trying to sell them within 12 minutes. Now this over here, this is not a 12 minute process. This is going to be a process that is going to teach or that is going to take people um, a very long time to do. Most times hours, sometimes not even the same day because a lot of people will gather webinar information like they'll get people's email addresses, right? And then they'll invite them to a webinar or they'll invite them to the landing page the following day. And, uh, that's just a terrible sales practice. But usually when you're trying to sell stuff, you want, you want to have nonstop frequency with that customer, right? And you want to make sure that you're not giving them time to think. That's how sales works. Bad as it is, that's how it works. Facebook over here says add the playlist. So we've already determined you're going to lose $300 in the beginning testing, right? So that being said, that's inevitable. It doesn't matter if you're good or you're bad. But you better hope, like how that you're actually really good at Facebook ads. Otherwise, you're, you're not going to be profitable, guys. Um, it's hard enough selling a course, let alone making it profitable. 99 out of 100 courses fail. Um, but if you take this approach, 100% of courses win. It's crazy. You know, you create the content one time, you're going to be getting paid residuals on that forever, right? So over here, you're going to lose $300 in the beginning. And uh, when you're selling something like this, that's a bigger bulk of your product. Most people know that it's going to be caught. It's going to cost money unless you're actually advertising that it's free. Like we will hear, um, they're going to have enough common sense to know that you're charging something on that. So they're used to seeing these kind of ads and what they do is they scroll past it. They don't look at it. They don't engage on it. And uh, that customer's history for you, right? Most cases, 50%. That's why we crossed off the 50%. So with that, we're going to have a CTR, which stands for click through rate of uh, 1.5%. So that means one and a half out of every hundred people are actually going to engage with your ad. Now, when you have a click-through rate um, that low, which is, it's about average for, for this situation. Um, sometimes you can get it better. Again, it just comes back to how good are you at Facebook ads? But let's say you have a one and a half conversion rate. That means for every 200 people who come to your website, you have three people who are I'm sorry, every 200 people that see your ad, you have three people who are going to actually come over to your website. Okay, now we've determined the click-through rate. Now we need to write down here what actually is going to be um, the percentage of people who are going to buy. So that means one, when you test this out, you're going to see it for yourself. If you try to go down this route, one out of every 500 people who actually make it to your page is going to convert on average, right? And that, that means you're going to have to, when you break down with your conversion rate, one out of every 500 buys, that means you're going to have to reach, okay, 33, five. You're going to have to reach 33,500 people, right? So on our advertising spend here, 33,500 people, roughly, um, knowing what I know about Facebook ads here, I've, I've spent in 2019 alone, it's, uh, it's May right now, I, I've spent over $500,000. Again, I have that on multiple other videos there. You guys have to check it out. Um, I know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about this specific subject. So when it comes to you targeting and reaching 3,300, uh, I'm sorry, 33,500 3, people, you're going to be looking at a cost of around $300. Now you're thinking to yourself, not bad because you're selling the course for $500. So that's a $200 difference, right? Completely wrong. Okay. And, and, and we need to include multiple things here with the sale. You know, you got to have legal papers. Okay, you got to have your legal papers. You got to host a website. You know, you got to hire uh, virtual assistants. 
VAs for customer service. You got to have a hold back on some of your money if you play business a smart way. You got to have a hold back on some of your money here. So um, in the event of chargebacks or or refunds, okay. This is inevitable in anything, any business when you're selling stuff online. So chargebacks, refunds, and then back up here, legal papers. You know, you're going to get those from a lawyer, more than likely, which, oh, they're going to be somewhere in the ballpark of $100 an hour. Uh, it could be less, it could be more. It depends on where you're at. Okay, so uh, this is some stuff you're going to have to adjust for. So, I mean, what if, what if you don't get a sale during this because that's on average doesn't mean it's guaranteed every single time so what if you you know go three times you go three times and you don't get a sale how much is that hurting it's hurting a lot okay where as, as if you would have had all this over here and you're driving the traffic to YouTube for free you would have made more money on that uh, obviously because you're not making any money over here so your lifetime value of your customer just just describing the point from when when they get over there and they watch your videos is going to be 25 cents so a customer EDC engage customers so engage customers are gonna have a value of 25 cents to you and you go through the process 25 cents on average but that only includes them watching um, your videos so we're gonna put that on there so that's only for your videos okay and then we're gonna jump over here again um, one thing we kind of forgot is your time valuation, okay? Most people, when they're gonna buy a course like this, and I'm guilty of it myself, um, they're gonna message you. You could have 10, 11 different pages explaining what it is that your course offers, what it is you do, why you're different, why you're the best thing in the world. It doesn't matter, people are still mm -hmm. gonna message you and wanna know what you're selling. So you're gonna have to adjust your time valuation behind that so you can support your customer emails. And with, with the free base, you know, it's it's still a good practice to do to help people out, but it's not necessary. You don't, you're not bonded to actually have to help people out in the event that they have uh, questions because it's free content. Uh, you know, it's just an example. You know, I'm, I'm aware there's there's many other metrics, there's different breakdowns, different things that go into promoting a course. You know, we go all day about it, but we don't want to keep this video super, super long. Um, now we need to jump over here to YouTube and I need to explain to you uh, why YouTube actually it, it, it makes more money than, than a paid and uh, um, again it starts right here with the lifetime value um, just of the people the engaged customer that watches your videos uh, and, and and you know I don't like to use the term lifetime value it should be more of like a month time value because if you have them go through your videos and the majority of your videos on average you're gonna make 25 cents right you know you're gonna make less money initially okay so we're gonna make a note of that less money initially okay uh, it's gonna be 16% you're gonna be looking at about 16% less money um, in the short term and I like to call the short term a 30-day time window you're gonna be making 16% less dollars on the initial part of the sales we're gonna consider a sale um, compared to the paid now with paid once they buy it you're pretty much done. Sure, you can upsell them on additional courses, but that person's only gonna view, you're only gonna get paid on it once. So you're taking a 16% cut, okay? Taking a 16% cut for the first roughly 30 days, could take a little longer, but you're gonna be getting more in the long term because guess what? Uh, Joe, who you sent over here, uh, might go back and watch one of your videos or mo the majority of your videos multiple times. Every time he watches it, he's getting uh, ads delivered to them. Every time he sees an ad or he engages with the ad, we're getting paid. You know, this this needs to go up to per one view. Okay, so if they're viewing the content once, it's 25. So if they view the content um, multiple times, like let's say they go through all your content twice, then your, your lifetime value of that customer is going to change. Okay. You're going to be looking at 50 cents. And then obviously it goes up. I'm sure you can do basic math. We're starting with the Facebook ad. We're going to give it the same budget we had over here. Uh, $300. And yeah, we'll just say lifetime. Unless you want to get crazy and do it per day. But uh, we'll just say lifetime. Uh, we're going to target broad. Okay. 
you don't have to target um, like super niche specific groups because the broad amount of people are going to be appealed to free. So we're going to target broad. Um, over here, you're going to target. Okay, you're going to target conversions. That's an objective within Facebook, and they, they can't efficiently they can't run efficiently until you have um, a decent amount of uh, conversions actually going within your ad because Facebook needs information in order to to deliver your ads the correct way. And it's like a catch twenty two. If you don't have it, then they can't uh, deliver the correct way. So you're going to be wasting uh, you know the three hundred dollars in the beginning just to pretty much learn your audience on who's engaging then you'll more than likely waste a lot more money uh, trying to uh, figure out who's gonna buy. Okay, so you might find them, but by the time you find them, it'll be like four or five grand in the hole. But sure, that's fine, right? Because you can you can dig your way out, right? There's only a certain amount of people who are gonna buy. Every single person that you target here, like let's say you wanna target people who are interested um, you know, in Shopify or drop shipping, You know, they're growing a lot, both are great platforms. You can get massive audiences out of that. Every single one of those per those people there will specifically be interested in um, free content. Free, good quality content, okay? So with this, we're gonna be doing uh, the same structure, $300 for lifetime for the Facebook ad, uh, same as that over there, except we're not gonna eliminate 50%. That's where I was getting at there. We don't have to eliminate 50% because they're not gonna fall off the wagon because you're not charging anything. Uh, I mean, you'll still have the, the few people who are gonna scroll past it, they're gonna see it, that it's a course, and they're gonna think you're selling them on something. But, uh, you know, that's just inevitable. You can't get them all. So we're, our numbers are gonna go up. And when we target broad, uh, we're gonna be doing like traffic driven ads. Okay, they're not gonna be conversion driven ads. Uh, cheaper bids overall compared to conversions. Everybody targets conversions because Facebook's a bidding platform and when people are targeting conversions predominantly then the bid prices are up right because you got to bid against other people targeting conversions when people are targeting traffic you're you're bidding against a smaller group of people who are uh, you know cheaper bids so cheaper bids means you're going to be getting more for your dollar so you're going to be reaching a lot more people but we want to keep conservative numbers here so we're going to do the whole example on the fact that we're still going to be reaching 35 33,500 people, okay? You know, when you reach 33,500 people um, with, with the traffic-driven ads, you're gonna have, again, a higher click-through rate because you're not selling anything. People are gonna engage with free, valuable content, so we're, we're gonna keep everything conservative. It will likely be higher than 3%. We, I like safe numbers because we don't wanna over estimate what we're doing here. We want to make sure they're safe, good numbers. So your click-through rate is going to be 3%, which means that you're going to be getting twice as many people to your playlist page. Okay, 1,000 playlist viewers. You're spending the same amount of money, right? So instead of one person viewing your content here, which is what this guy did when he bought your course, you're gonna have 1,000 people viewing your content. And this is conservative. It will It's more than likely gonna be more than 1,000. Like there's a really good chance it's gonna be a lot more than 1,000, but conservative numbers, okay? So we're just doubling it. We got twice as many people that are in your playlist uh, watching your videos, and each one of those people is gonna have an average of 25 cents value, value, okay? And when you uh, add it all up here, uh, let's see if my simple math's good. That means that that audience is going to generate you just from uh, what they're doing on your ads, from the views and the average click through on, on the ad, uh, you're, you're going to be getting $250. Now you're $300 shy compared to the paid in the initial. That's where we came in and we said in the beginning that your 16% difference, right? That's your 16% difference, 16.6 .6 continuous. Now, this is the difference maker. This is what is going to make you significantly more money with YouTube compared to, compared to paid. Uh, right here. Paid for $300 spent, you have one sale on average. Um, YouTube, you have 1,000. Upsells. 
Upsells are going to be the upsells are really the key to any business. Amazon makes 40% of their revenue from upsells. So you're going to have 1,000 people to upsell over here. So as you have your 100 videos rolling out, each video will have different content in it about a different um, subject. And you can affiliate link within like the specific Shopify apps. And uh, um, when people sign up through your link, you're going to get a kickback on that. Um, the traditional going rate is 30%. So 30% affiliate. Right, so if, if I'm selling it for $100, um, so we're actually getting a kickback of 30%, so we're making $30 on that, just for the example. Okay, we're making $30, and that's just one, guys. Okay, you're going to have like 50 affiliate links. You're going to have 50, 20, whatever. You're going to have multiple affiliate links where you're getting kickbacks on the stuff that you're actually selling and affiliating to your audience and you're gonna completely offset the 250 number, right? So, like we were saying, this is where the big money is. So you have a thousand people over here who are coming, they're viewing your videos. Uh, if you have a hundred videos and all thousand people go through it, every single one, then all thousand people are gonna get um, sold or the, have the opportunity to sign up for um, your the, the, the things you are promoting through your affiliate links that you're going to earn you opportunities for income. Over here with, with the paid side, you only have access to do that with one person because, again, the videos are going to be the exact same. Uh, you're going to be doing the same thing within those videos inside of a course. You're going to be telling people, you need to get this link, you need to get this app, you need to get um, this program to, to use with your, with your Shopify store. Um, but the difference is you're only selling to one person. Okay, difference is, is a thousand people. So you're gonna be biting the bullet for the initial 16% loss between the two. But what you're gonna make from the thousand people is gonna completely offset this. And uh, you know, I, I'm not even gonna put a number on it. It's obviously higher than 300. Plus, you're not gonna be getting called a scammer. No scam. And a little smiley face on that. You're not a scammer. You're not gonna get labeled as that. If you're on the paid side, you're gonna get called a scammer. It's just what people do. Even though most people who are uh, selling their courses are, are genuine people. They're not always the greatest courses, but they're not trying to actively screw people out of their money in most cases. Uh, but it's just a giant misconception, guys. You know, People think if you're gonna have a course, you're gonna launch a course, you have to sell it um, for a price. You know, If you have something that's good, don't don't ever give it away for free. That's that's a that's a that's a saying that a lot of people say, and I think that's a kind of a selfish saying. If you have something that's um, good, give it away for free. When you give it away for free, you're generating more money. It's selfish both ways. Right over here, it's negative selfish. It's positive selfish over here. It's selfish for you because you're doing it for money, right? Well, technically we're doing it both of them for money, but over here it's 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 greed driven, right? But over here, it's not greed driven because we're giving the content away for free. We genuinely want to help people for free. And you're going to make a significant amount more money than you are over here. If I had to throw an exact number on it, I'm just going to say we're going to make twice as much as this. We're going to keep it conservative. You make twice as much money over here. And again, you're going to be growing your natural SEO. People are people are going to be searching those keywords. That they're, going to, they're going to be coming over to your videos and watching them, engaging with them, signing up for the affiliate links. And uh, you didn't. These are the people who didn't even go through your advertising, right? So that's organic traffic. You'll never get that over here. The only way you're going to get people in is if you advertise. Free-based services. You're going to have organic traffic coming in. You're going to be growing another social media channel where you can have a very large audience of people to uh, re retarget and remarket to. Uh, create more videos, send them out so people can watch them because you got another tool in your arsenal that's, that's an asset that's going to make you money. But again, I mean, we could go on forever here. I think you get the base premise of this, right? It's going to increase your personal brand. Okay? It's going to increase your subscribers, uh, likes, follows. We went over that. You're going to be building massive lists. You know, there's no customer service on this side, um, at least not to the detail of what this side's going to be. You're going to be dealing with angry people over here. Uh, you may deal with angry people over here, but hey, you didn't charge them for anything, okay? And, and like we said earlier, there's, there's nothing morally wrong with this. Um, it's just a misconception. Most people think you have when you create a course, you have to sell it, right? When in reality, you launch it for free, you're going to be making more money because of this right here.
Okay, you get a thousand people in your course for the same price as one person in your course. But guys, I think you understand what I'm saying here. Um, I'm gonna try and do another video here where we go a little more um, in depth to the actual advertising part of this and how we're gonna get people over. Um, I mean, with that being, being said here, guys, that's really all I have for this. I know it's a little sloppy, a little unorthodox, but um, it's a quick video that I wanted to get out because this is an important thing that I see a lot of people doing wrong and I wanna make sure people um, can take advantage of, of their time most efficiently so they're actually making the most money. But anyways, guys, keep it free, keep it classy. We'll see you later.